Blah, blah, blah. Words. Hi. Hi, everybody. I am here. We are here. It's time to deal with some corpses. Let's see. It's currently men's day. We need what? What are we, what are we working on? What do we want to build? We need a... No, 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 no. So, we need a regular anvil. Have I... I've got my new tools. I should probably just go dump off a, a bunch of stuff, because we've been running into inventory problems like crazy. See, we've got that. I should probably put the uh, casual prayer elsewhere. Okay, cool. So, oh, you know what? I can put the whetstone away. Because there's no reason why I should ever carry that around with me. Okay. And let's get rid of the sticks, too, even though I might not need them immediately. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just diving, in, in, diving into it today. I've got a ton of work to do. <laughs> woke up late. I woke up at 3 today. I woke up, like, 3 hours ago. Two and a half hours ago. Damn. Yeah, no more like 3. 3 hours ago. I just... Uh, got too much on my plate. Got way too much on my plate. Unfortunately, uh, I'm in this, like, awkward, awkward position of, like, I got, uh, conventions to go to, uh, in, you know, a matter of weeks. Uh, I've got moving in a matter of months. I've got too many new games to count and not enough time to finish the ones that I've already started. Uh, people are starting to get grumpy that I haven't, you know, put out videos for certain games and I'm just like, I'm trying. And then, of course, there's just the games that I want to play, which always makes it harder. Because it doesn't always, uh, it doesn't always factor in the way you want it to. Anyway, man, this is slow. I really wish this actually had the, uh, the Morrowind leveling system of just, like, every time you do something, you gain EXP for it. I know that's what the, uh, the red tech is for, but I mean, like, uh, every time you, you mine a rock, it increases your mining speed by, like, half a percent, and eventually you're just, like, cutting through rocks like nobody's business. I know that's not in the spirit of things, but it's more fun for me. Oh, we got a body. I'm gonna get these rocks first. We want, we want iron. And I'm going to get iron. Because I think this is as much iron as we can get. I don't know if we can go deeper into the swamp yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's locked off. Okay. Well, while we're here, I'm just going to grab a stump. Uh, I just tore that stump up, but no wood. Alright, whatever. We'll, uh... We'll just head back. I, I've got the iron I need. Can I, can I dig this stump up? No, these are... Th those are actual, like... Blockages, so I can't get past them. Let's see, how do you get oil for the donkey? Heck if I know. I have. Oh, he's just here this time. One, two, three, four. Donkey deserves more carrots. What are you doing here? I'm on strike. What does that mean? It means I'm tired of being oppressed, and I'm not bringing you any more corpses. At least not for free. I have a list of demands. First, I demand better working conditions. Grease the wheels for a change. I can't keep listening to the squeak. Second, I need a day off, so no more corpses on Sunday. And last but not least, I need better pay from you. Uh, the corpses aren't your property. They're like a natural resource, and I want my cut. Each new corpse will cost you five carrots in advance. You can place them in a special box here. I'll take the carrots from it. If you refuse, then you can find yourself another donkey. Oh, and there isn't another donkey. Ha ha. Okay, so corpse hatch, and I'm assuming this is the, uh, this is donkey box. Really, thank you for the bits, Cursed Arbinger. Love the streams. Yeah! Good, now just put my carrots in the box. Well, we don't have any carrots, so no corpses. Well, that honestly makes my life easier. Let's go figure out gardening, because we can start growing carrots. 
Uh, let's see. So we want to craft iron. Holy crap, I've got a bunch of iron ore. We should probably make as much firewood as I possibly can grab. Uh, we don't have any logs, though. Text. Gentle, gentle butcher. You have less chance of making a surgical error when extracting hard spares and soft spares. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, writing. Should have worked on that. Alright, whatever. Paper crafting. I can at least learn how to make that. Even if we can't do writing. Okay, so brewing. Brewing's out for a while. These are out for a while. And wood woodcutter is out equally for a while. So I can't go for any of the big trees. Which I think includes these, yeah? Nope. I can cut these down. Okay. So we can at least kind of clear out some of our space. Gosh, this game is beautiful. Yeah, uh... Lazy Bear has always had kind of... Oh, I can't go for the dead trees. That's interesting. Yeah, Lazy Bear has always had a, a nice style to it. Okay, can I capture any of these? No. I think it's Lazy Bear. Uh, this is the guys that did Punch Club. And I always, I always liked the visual style for Punch Club. I never... Okay, so that's that's too big. I never finished Punch Club, but that was because the extremely like problematic uh, grind. Effectively, it's like, hey, uh, to finish this game, you effectively have to just kind of keep grinding at this one stat over and over again. And if you stop, uh, then then you get uh, then you get tired. See, do we just make a ton of firewood? Yeah, let's just make a ton of firewood first. Or immediately run out of energy. Fair enough. Oh, right, I was going to work on farming. I'm easily distracted. Okay, and today's Moon's Day, so we've got a little bit left before we hit Sunday. And the stat, the stat decay is ridiculous. Yeah, see, that was the thing. It... Any game with stat decay is just like... It has to either make a lot of sense, or it has to be fairly forgiving. Otherwise, it's just like, man, I don't... I don't want to do this. Okay, so we don't have any firewood on us... yet. Okay. So I should be able to make tons of firewood from this. Pretty hefty on my, uh... Pretty hefty on my energy costs, but that's okay. We can just go to sleep again and it'll be Sunday and we can see stuff. Actually, hold on. But we don't want to do that immediately. Okay, so that'll make six iron for us. Uh, let's see, do we... We did plant something here, but I I, I never actually planted uh, any seeds. Okay, so let's go grab that. Uh, let's see. So I guess we might as well start on carrot seeds, seeing as that, that was requested. Okay, so that'll take a little bit of time. Let's go back into the church for a hot second. Is the donkey just going to be sitting there? He is. Interesting. So is this Stardew Valley, but depressing? Kind of. I wouldn't exactly say depressing. Okay, so we need planks and nails for more church benches. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to uh, have enough wood for that today. Yeah, more of a macabre, yeah. Depressing less. Yeah, it's got a nice humor to it. So I wouldn't exactly say it's exactly depressing. But we need eight wooden planks. Oh, good. Fabricating these does not take that much energy. That takes a fair bit. We might want to eat some food. 
Because I still got to make some nails, too. Okay, so we want to make... Let's just make all the nails. I know I was... Eee. I guess I could always sleep. At least for a little while. We just don't want to sleep through the day. Because I, I don't know if there's a penalty for not giving a sermon in a given day. But it looks like we should be able to sleep into uh, partway through the day and still have plenty of energy. Let's see. Uh, let's grab our nails. Boy, that is pricey on the energy, but that's okay. Okay, we grabbed that. Doesn't look like we... Well, we've already got all of our iron. Okay. So let's go make as many church benches as we can possibly grab. Okay, there's no penalty. Good. I'd still like to do it, though. Because we need, uh, we need as much faith as we can possibly grab. Do I... I still have the... I still have the prayer in my inventory. Good. So what am I supposed to do? As you are a cleric now, you should be involved in our blessed activities. I've decided to open a soup kitchen for the poor near the cathedral. Let me improve my image, apparently. When they're hungry, my good looks stand out more. Ha ha! So I need a lot of cheap bowls, and it seems you have clay deposits just in front of your church. Bring some bowls to me, and I'll give you a cleric's beginner's guide. It'll give you your first few faith energy to start with. Also, I'll gladly buy any bread you have for the... The soup kitchen. For a special price, of course. I am, after all, representing his will. So, gathering sand and gathering clay. Okay, so we figured that out. Well, can't do that immediately. Oh, no. We are actually running out of time today. I guess we're just going to do a uh, Garbo ser sermon, but that's fine. I'd like to say some words. Our church is great. Nice. And now let us pray for the blessing. Okay, okay, nice. Your donations are welcome. Great sermon, great sermon, great sermon, great sermon. And thank you, Dustin Red, for the 500 bits. Yeah, how was your day? And enjoy. Uh, my day was very, very basic. Okay, so we collected not much. We did get a success. And a little bit of a faith bonus. Okay, um... My day has been very short so far. I woke up three hours ago and I'm, um... I spent most of it setting up, uh, videos to render. After that, I've just been, uh... Well, doing this. Okay, so let's get our science done and then I'll work on those bowls. Probably. Oh. Study not complete. That gave us red. We need to go find things that'll give us blue. So body parts. Meat, maybe? Because, yeah, blue is by far our uh, our most limited resource. Ever actually managed to make money in the game yesterday? I made a little bit. Not enough yet. Working on that. Okay, a little bit more iron. Uh, let's see. So we've already studied the skull. But we can study the skin and the flesh. Can't study those. Okay, can I study anything in here for blue? Not really. Okay, so we'll go we'll go study the, the flesh and the skin. Which is really gross, but still. And then we can probably get to work on those bowls. I wonder if I can track him down in town, or if I have to wait for him for a week. I bet I have to wait. Oh, well, either way, it will take some time to get those bowls down. From Head of Royal Treasury Department, we are happy to congratulate you on reopening the church and the graveyard. Also, we are pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. Over all surface land and buildings that sit no deeper than one... Royal Leap for Royal Spit, as dictated by the ancient contract, belong to the royal family in the town. 
Through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the Royal Treasury Department. Your taxes may also be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe VII loves you. So, that's how much it costs to exhume a person. Citizen. Okay, so, still can't get a... Or I could get a royal stamp. Or building permission. Rightful citizen. Rightful citizen papers, town pass, trade license, or aristocrat. Well, I might be able to get a stamp in some other things. Well, for starters, let's... Let's queue these up. Queue that up. Wow, okay. Oh, good. And it doesn't cost any energy to put that down. Okay, so we're going to study... Flesh. Perfect. Okay, and we're also going to study... Er, skin. Now we're going to study flesh. Perfect. Okay, so that gets me a whole bunch. And we got a story. I'll also figure out what the uh, story is. Getting a stamp and selling people meat seems... Hmm, not on the up and up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this stamp, though. Oh, but I still need 50 silver for it. Building permission. Okay, what about being a rightful citizen? Yeah, so I'm gonna need quite a lot of cash before I can start selling the meat. We should probably go check on my carrots while we're here. And then probably go back to chopping down trees. Well, hold on. We've got some text, so I could get woodcutter. Uh, that might not be a bad idea, but let's let's go. Let's not make any mi immediate mistakes. Some of these things, like power of faith, would be kind of nice. I don't think I can do half this stuff yet. Yeah, I need I need a higher amount of faith for this. We want to learn writing, create notes, and a chapter. Let's see, and writing supplies. Inventing stories. That'd be interesting. Okay, insects, master gatherer. No. Inborn blacksmith. Always make extra nails. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. The extra logs from woodcutting might be more helpful, though. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, we're going to want to work on all of them. What's the status on our carrots? There's no real status on our carrots. Okay. Well, let's get the rest of the, the farm going. It looks like I don't have to do anything apart from just have the crops going. Uh, we should probably make one more plot while we're at it. And did anybody, uh, did we ever find out how to... Oh, there's a story there. Do we ever figure out what to do with those books? I don't know what to do with this with this story. Okay, well let's store that. Store that until the next Sunday. Okay, so we want to plant beet seeds. Can you eat the books? I don't think so. That'd be hilarious, but I don't think so. Alright, and we want to make garden bed with sticks. I don't think we need a garden bed with sticks. I think we just need a, a totally regular garden bed. Though I I know next to nothing about what I'm doing. Wheat seeds. Yeah, I don't know, know if you need the sticks for that. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess let's go figure out how to excavate that clay. Because it was somewhere over here. Okay, so this is where we get clay. Still, oh, right. I know I know where we get sand from. Well, let's, let's just go until we exhaust ourselves.
That's a good source of green. Good to know. Okay. So we want to work on the we want to work on the clay bulls. We want to keep the iron going. I got to get some more firewood. I got to get more red. Maybe I should go just fabricate some more planks for a little while. Cuz I guess chopping down the bigger trees wouldn't be a bad move. I don't know. The the efficiency level ups would be nice. Okay, so we've got that going. Now, we don't have any more immediate firewood, so I guess I'll chop these. Let me get up to 50. Yeah, I'll probably get the, the lumberjack upgrade. Maybe? Either that or we should probably just unlock as much new tech as I possibly can grab. But let's take a look. So, oh. Well, we gotta make... We gotta get the, the clay upgrade. Ceramic firing... Eh, be kind of helpful. Precious metals, circular saw. Quarrying tricks of the trade. Huh, okay. Can't learn any new cooking recipes. There's soft spares, but I don't know if we care about those yet. Candles might not be a bad move. Same thing with the stone gravestones. Can't do cremation yet. I don't even know what to do with stories yet or do we do we craft those into we might craft those into uh better sermons and stuff maybe oh dang it did i totally forget i totally forgot there we go Rules of burning. The spreading flame charms you. You know a lot about fire, so you know how to increase your furnace productivity. You can smelt more ore per load. Oh, that's helpful. Also, welcome, stump friends. I was watching them play Outpost Zero beforehand. I I never could finish that game. It kept crashing on me. Like, I, I started over three times, and eventually by the end of it, I was just like, all right, I've lost, I've lost the will to do any more of this. Okay, so there's our firewood. Let, let's keep the uh, let's keep the iron production going, and we want to just make two seventy. Wow, almost all of it. There we go. And yeah, if you've never seen this game before, this is uh, this is Graveyard Keeper. It's kind of like it's pretty similar to Stardew Valley in a lot of ways, made by the uh, Punch Club people. I'm a, I'm a big fan so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yes. Okay. I can rescue the log. I guess I could always just go and pick it up. Instead of trying to push things... <laughs> scooting logs along by my feet. This guy's got some power legs. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's make some more... Oh, right. We gotta make the, uh... It's, it's not the billet. It's flitch. We gotta make the flitch first before we can make the planks. So has this been fully released? Yes. Uh, it came out yesterday? Yeah, yesterday on the 15th. Okay, so that's that's a bunch. Speaking of... Yeah. The other thing I could save up for is like weapons or vents smelting, but no, we can't even make steel yet. Yeah, let, let's get woodcutter. That gives us some time. Uh, that gives us uh, some extra... Blue, blue science to do whatever we want with, which probably means candles, because we're gonna need candles if we want our church to not suck. We'll get there. Let's see. Are there any kind of deadlines in this game? Nope. Uh, they're kind of are, but it's like it's mainly just like you have a, a rotating daily or week of six different days, and so certain days. Uh, you can only do certain things on certain days and stuff. So you have to get, uh... You kind of have to, like, balance it. So, for example, when the, uh, sun icon rolls around, I get to do a sermon. Which is where I'm supposedly supposed to get most of my money. Uh, obviously we are not at that, uh, point yet. We are still... 
pretty garbage. This is worth so much red science. I love it. Okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, we should probably get that anvil. Can I? Yes. Okay, it's this the same size as the wooden one, so I, honestly, I think I might just put it right there, and then we'll rip up the other one. So what can we make here? Uh, we can make the complex parts, and we can make a rusty hammer, which I have not been, I have not made yet. Sure. Wait, that's a, that's a rusty hammer, isn't it? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's that's just a regular rusty hammer. I'm a I'm a doofus. All right, whatever. I can I can sell it for money. Uh, let's grab light of faith. We're gonna want to make those candles. Maybe I should have gotten the stone gravestones. Maybe. I we'll see. Uh, it's. I guess let's go work on the clay. We should probably go chop down some more trees too. Can I chop down this tree? Do I want to? I like the tree, but it kind of obscures my vision. I, oh, good. I can finally chop down these dead trees. Okay, let's prioritize those then. Looks like the dead trees are worth a lot of logs. Okay, so dead trees first. Let's see, if it's a rusty hammer, can you improve it with the whetstone? No, sadly. You can just sharpen stuff with the, uh, with the whetstone. It's confusing. Okay, polishing paste, iron chisel. We should probably figure out... We should probably make a chisel. I don't even know what a chisel will get me. But I should have one. Just in case? Okay, so now we've got an iron chisel. So how do we work with clay? What are we lacking? We've already got a chopping spot. We need extra yard space, so that might be something I want to work on. Stone stockpile. Stone cutter. I don't know if we ever actually made the stone cutter. We also need a potter's wheel. No, we definitely made the stone cutter. This is this is the stone cutter. So a piece of stone. Iron ore? It can be turned into that, I guess. And yeah, we can make better gravestones from it. Well, we need to make more flitch. And never mind. We are too tired. I give up! It is very nice playing a Stardew-like, where you're not constrained to a 24-hour hour clock. Uh, if none of you guys have uh, seen this before, like, kind of seen the difference, pretty much I can... All I have to do is just go back into bed, replenish my energy, and I'm good to go. I always say to that in Stardew, it's like, it's 2 a.m. You've passed out. And I'm like, what? I... no? I routinely stay up till 5, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have to pass out because I'm a night night owl. See, so wonder you should try Death's Gambit. Have you... you really should watch my channel more often. Uh, let's see. So do we just put the... Yeah, let's just put the potter's wheel right there. Oh, you found the oil! Uh... Where's the oil? Somewhere in the swamp or somewhere else? Because I know, I know I need the, uh... I know I need it from somewhere. Okay, so I can make... Oh, wow, I can make a lot of these. I guess I just gotta grab some... Water. Now, does this... No, it doesn't look like it depletes. It just does whatever. But I've been playing uh, Death's Gambit this past week. Where'd the water go? Oh, I just dropped it on the ground. But yeah, if you guys ever want to suggest something to me, please absolutely make sure that I've played it before. Or I haven't already played it before, because I have played, uh... I've spent the last two evenings playing that game, and it's... It's always a little obnoxious when somebody's like, Hey, Wander, you should play uh, Graveyard Keeper. Hmm. I got, I got a, I got a tweet, or not a tweet. I got a comment on YouTube asking me to play Graveyard Keeper. After I put up my first episode of Graveyard Keeper, and I'm like, hmm, I uh, really? 